Flav City family, welcome to a special Fridays with Flav. I've been looking forward to this all week. The birthday boy Art has been looking forward to this all week because we have some epic steak about to go in the oven. Rose is excited and then reverse seared. Uh, we fired up the Wi Fi around the house. Hi, Rose. We can go outside in the back and sear the steak so we don't uh, set off the fire alarm. Uh, and the reason why we're going crazy today is because it is Art's. 41st birthday. Everyone say hello to the one and only Arthur T. Amasi the third. Hello, everybody. Thank you to all the birthday greetings. That's Every right. Lots day. of birthday Thank greetings. You so, much. so keep the birthday love going for Art. Uh, leave comments down below. Please let us know where you're watching from. We're going to make steak for dinner. Desi's going to come in and make an apple upside down cake. She's totally winging it, but I feel good about it. Is it paleo? And paleo too. Everything Desi makes is paleo. Rose looks like she's ready for some action. She had a nice nap before. Uh, here's the plan for the steak. So I have this beautiful, our grass-fed Tasmanian steak. It's a long bone tomahawk ribeye. I don't even know how big it is. It's huge. Uh, and I have a grass-fed Tasmanian New York strip steak. We're going to bake that in the oven first at 300 degrees low until it gets to an internal temperature of around 115-ish. Then we're going to fire up a cast iron pan outside as hot as possible. Throw some uh, Thrive Market ghee in there. Sear the steak on all edges. And then maybe with it, we, we need a side dish, I suppose. So I have some cauliflower here. Make some cauliflower keto mash. So the main course will be keto. And then Desi's going to do a paleo apple upside down cake. And it's Friday. So it's hashtag Fridays with Flav. It's our birthday. And just like every other Friday, the video is sponsored by Thrive Market. Oh, and sponsored by Rose Honey Parish. Uh, hello, my sweet. Mm, she's in for a treat. She's going to have some steak tonight, too. It's going to be great. Uh, so just like every other Friday, Thrive Market, in case you don't know how gaga I am about them. Everything you normally get at the grocery store. Think uh, meat, seafood, but think grocery staples like keto, pantry items, paleo, gluten-free. Everything you normally get at the grocery store is up to 30% cheaper on Thrive Market. The box comes to your door. I'll show you some of my favorite pantry staples there like the Thrive Market grass-fed collagen and the Thrive Market virgin coconut oil is the best one we've tried. Uh, they were nice enough to give us a discount code even though their business has taken off because of coronavirus and people don't want to go to the store. Right below the video rows, right below us right now, is a link. It takes you to my pantry list bundle, and you get up to a $20 shopping credit when you uh, join as a year-long membership. You're going to absolutely love it. We'll talk more about it later. So the first thing we have to do is season the steak aggressively. So Desi, come in here and just hold Rose. Everyone say hi to D DJ D Slav, all the way from the BG with love. <laughs> hi, guys. Now, we have special steak, so I want to get special salt here. So I'm going to get really nice French gray salt. This is from Brittany, France, Rose. It's gray from the mineral composite in there, and it's very chunky monkey. It's chunky like you, Rose. I know you like chunky stuff. And Art, this is a very thick steak. So what, what is the reason I'm going pretty aggressive on the salt here? Yeah, that salt's got to work through a lot of meat. Exactly. It's very you're, thick. You're going to lose some in the process too. Exactly. But that's a lot of meat to be seen. It's a lot of meat. I can't season the inside of the steak and I want the salt to sear into the crust of the meat. And when you have a beautiful grass fed steak like this all the way from Tassie, Tasmania, Australia, right? All the way from Tassie with love, all the way from the BG with love, right? All the way from mommy with love. What brand salt is that? Uh, Celtic. It's Celtic sea salt, gray salt. It that's, is. That's the brand Celtic? Yep, Celtic. It's on Thrive Market. I'm not sure if it's part of my pantry bundle. I think the fine sea salt is. I'm going heavy pepper. Thank you all. All the birthday greetings. Appreciate it. I want the salt and pepper flavor to really cut all the way through the steak and there's no way you can over salt it. You're just going to get that beautiful salt crust. And as I have said in the past, beef loves Meat. 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 That's right. Beef loves meat. I, I tried to say salt loves beef, and one day I'm like, beef loves meat. And now it's like, do you mean it loves salt? I'm like, yes, I do, Art. Thank you. So we'll season both sides and season the sides of the steak, too. But look how much I'm adding, Art. Some people might be like, oh, my God, that's crazy. Well, first of all, it's not crazy. Second of all, when you use a really good salt like this, or even Himalayan pink salt, which is hard to find chunky like this, it's an unrefined salt that's completely unprocessed, unbleached, has essential minerals and electrolytes your body needs and uh, tastes good. When you get white 
bleach salt, like a Morton's kosher salt, it's bleached. It's processed. It has anti-caking agents and it has no flavor other than sodium chloride. This has the lovely flavors of the minerales. Tyler. Dollar My boy Tyler. Are. You're the man. Hi, Bobby. Thank you so much. All right. We're rocking and rolling, y'all. If you're just joining, we're making grass-fed tomahawk ribeye steaks. It's Art's birthday. Wish him happy birthday. Thank Leave you, a Art. comment down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Let us know your birthday wish for Arthur. Uh, we're going to roast these in the oven, then sear them in a hot cast iron pan. Kimberly McKenna, nine ninety nine. dollars the number one fan is a dancing pair. Ooh, I love okay, that, thank Kimberly. That, thank Kimberly. Thank you. Hey, now, Art, when we have a steak this thick, what is the only way to know exactly when it's done to the degree I want? <sighs> With technology, my friend. Technology. Welcome to the future. I'm not going to do it yet, but I'm going to throw these guys in the 300-year oven. I put it on a rack. That way the airflow goes all around it. And maybe in 20 or so minutes, I am going to invade the cavity of that steak by piercing it with a probe thermometer that hooks up to my thermometer. And the beautiful thing about it, I can say, hey, I want this to go off at 115, which I do, and then with an alarm. So as soon as I put it in there, it's impossible to overcook it. Listen, it's steak. You don't marinate it. You don't do something fancy to it but you don't want to overcook it. And Bobby, why are you going for 115? Because like, isn't medium rare on a steak? Isn't that more like 130 something? That's a grand point, Art. It is 130, but a steak, especially like that, is gonna have what we call carryover heat. Just because you take it out of the oven doesn't mean it's gonna stop cooking and I'm gonna sear it afterwards. And I would just hate to overcook a steak, but listen, if you don't like it, medium rare or whatever, you do you. If you want it well done, I ain't gonna judge you, right? If someone says, oh, that's bad, you don't like steak, who cares? You eat steak the way you want. That's right. All right, a little S break. I got some keto wine off for uh, Art's birthday. All the birthday love is coming yeah, in I'm here. Switch this over to selfie mode. Yeah, Thank you say all. hi to Art, by I the way. People want to see my uh, birthday attire. I decided I had to go Cubs. That's like typical <sighs> me in the Flav City community, so I went Cubs. I was thinking about wearing my birthday suit here, which literally would have been a suit. <laughs> I did that in D.C. when I went to the Capitol building on my birthday. I wore my birthday suit, but I, it's hot enough in here in shorts and a t-shirt. So True that, hard suit. Um, and then, I don't know, if, I haven't seen her yet, but Sarah Winmuller, it's her birthday today. So if you're on here, happy birthday to you. If not, we'll look for her name later. But uh, good to be here with y'all. Thank you so much. Yes, indeed. So a good question from Jessica. What are the best protein shakes on the market? All right, what video did we film about two hours ago? We filmed a video about the best protein shakes in the market. Yep, that's coming out Sunday. We also filmed a video about the best products and brands on the market you haven't heard of. That'll come out in June because it's sponsored by Epic. And then we did a video that's coming out tomorrow about the best breakfast items at the grocery store for kind of like pre-made, ready-bought. Frozen waffles, overnight oats, uh, a lot of cool stuff there. That's coming out manana. Accidental Housewife, nine ninety nine. Happy B day, Art. Thank you. Accidental I love Housewife. Accidental Housewife. You're so nice. Tyler, My boy Tyler. Nine ninety nine. Hey Bobby, how's it going? It's going good, bro. We've been crushing all day. A lot of people might be like, "It's my birthday. I don't want to work. I don't want to play." Art and I've been crushing all day, and that's the only way we roll. We filmed three videos. Then we set up the new Wi-Fi network so it would work outside because we're gonna actually make the steak an inside but finish it on the cast iron pan. Why? Why are we going outside for the cast iron pan searing art? Because we don't wanna make a mess in here. We don't wanna make a mess and we don't wanna set off the fire alarm like last time. So when I'm not doing live streams, anytime I do something that could be very smelly or splatter, I take my portable gas burner, which I'll show you outside, and I go on the patio and do it. Mother Nature cleans up for me and it doesn't smell. Well, we didn't do that in the past, but now that we have the network set up with the mesh network, thanks to my boy Finley and thanks to uh, Art's friend Steve-O, we're good to go. So I have a little bit of cauliflower here. We might as well make some mash. Dominique Clayton with a super chat, $10. Happy birthday, Art. We thank you, Dominique. Dominique, thank you. Dominique Wilkins or Dominique Clayton? Dominique maybe Clayton. Adam Clayton's brother, maybe. We'll take a little bit of that yummy gray salt that I took. On the steak, we'll throw it in there, and then we'll boil this with a few cloves of garlic. This is a recipe from the book, actually, the, uh, the mash. Is it worth coming over there yet or not? Nah. Okay. I do mash two ways in the book. I do a roasted mash and a boiled mash. Ideal world, I would roast it, but the oven has much more important things in it than a uh, head of cauliflower. And I do want a little bit of garlic flavor, 
but I don't want a raw, like punchy in the face, boom, 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 garlic flavor. So I'm gonna cut it up. Hey, Dusty, why don't you hold the camera so Art could be on here a little while. He can get some more birthday love before DJ D. Slav comes in to make a upside down apple cake all the way from the Bay J with love. Casey Lane, 499. Happy birthday, Art. Bobby, where do you buy those steaks? By the way, I made Dusty's almond milk today. She needs to get Ooh, that on the market. Nice, nice, Casey. Thank you, Casey. Um, so those steaks are from a company a Flav City fan started. Uh, they do have really good grass-fed beef at Thrive Market. You know I love their pork, but they don't have steaks like that yet. Um, I do know that some uh, really good frozen items are also coming to Thrive Market soon, um, but those are from Shepherd Meat. So right now I'm just punching the uh, garlic out of the skin. Let me finger roll. Finger roll. Into the pot. You actually did it, that's cool. Yeah, isn't that nice? So back yonder. We're just gonna boil that for about eight minutes. The key is to boil it enough that the rawness goes away, but not to overboil it, because then it gets waterlogged and it gets mushy tushy. We don't want that. You we don't want that. Yeah, why not? I stole Rose's uh, cauliflower. All right, guys, it is Art's birthday. We're making a keto and paleo carnivore delight. Can I suggest something? Yes, please, my love. We have butternut squash in there. Oh, you want some bean nuts in there? Bean nuts in there. Let's hurry up then. All right, I'm going to have you peel the bean nuts. Okay, I'll wash my hands. I don't think that enough. Yeah, probably a good idea. Let's just toss in. Uh... There we go. I'll have Art peel that. All right. All right, we got 800 folks watching. Uh, keep leaving comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. Say hello to Rose Honey, by the way. Hey, Rose Honey Bunny. Hey, Rose Honey Bunny. Uh, and today's video, like every other Friday, is sponsored by Thrive Market. Um, I have a link right below the video that has a promo code for a up to a $20 shopping credit. You can have the box sent to your door. So Desi is actually using this for her recipe. I used to buy the one from Costco, but the Thrive Market Virgin Regeneratively Grown Whole Kerner Coconut Oil. Desi, isn't it like magical? I love this one, yeah. It has a great texture and flavor to it. And you know I love my Thrive Market ghee, but I've been talking about this ghee a lot lately. And it's cheaper on Thrive Market than any other grocery store, like most grocery items. This is a grass-fed ghee that's almost whipped. It's delicious. So try out Thrive Market. There's really nothing to, nothing to lose. Um, and you'll get a $20 shopping credit. Oh, Rose, we'll bring you back later on. And Dusty's also using the uh, organic Thrive Market uh, maple syrup. And they were nice enough to give a... Do uh, this one too? Uh, yeah, let's just do it. Why not? Do it. They were nice enough to give the uh, promo code, even though they're crazy busy because of COVID. So I have a uh, butternut squash here I got at the market. Dusty can already see that the uh, cauliflower won't be enough, so I'm going to cut it with some small cubed bean nut squash. So what are you guys making? I know my girl Rachel Murray from San Quentin emailed me. She got some rhythm. Oh, Rachel! Whoa. Cooking along. Rachel Murray. She, she, re, she emailed me that she's Thank cooking along with me and she went to the store to pick up some stuff. Jennifer Garcia, Jennifer. $2. Happy birthday, Art. Virtual toast from LA. Nice. Happy virtual toast right oh, back. Yeah. We should actually, no, forget about virtual. Let's yeah. get some wine. Yeah, I got the keto wine ready to crack right now. I still have to try that sugar-free wine on uh, Thrive Market. I heard good things about it. I just got to make sure there's no chemicals in there too. Because winemaking can be a really dirty process. So they don't have to tell you what's in the wine, but it's very common for them to add sugar to the fermentation process. And it's very common for them to use chemicals. They can use up to 75 chemicals during the winemaking process. One of them that's very common is called Mega Purple. And I believe that's the reason why a lot of people get like headaches and feel like garbage after wine. Not from like the sulfites or anything like that. So when you have a sugar-free wine that has no added chemicals, I don't think you're going to get like that hangover effect unless you eat a whole, drink a whole bottle. That might be a different story. No problem. Yeah. I, Tyler, $3.99. Tyler, Tyler, you're a maniac, oh my dude. gosh. Thank you all. I see a lot of birthday greetings coming in. It's great to be here with y'all and appreciate all the love. Do you think the squash is going to cook in the time the cauliflower is done, Biff? It usually takes longer. Maybe I should cook the cauliflower first. I don't want to have it uh, uncooked. Well, yeah, and then... Uh, yeah. And then I'm going to cook the cauliflower first, then add the uh, squash, because God forbid 
and the cauliflower is done. This wasn't done. Right. Then I overcooked the cauliflower, which I explicitly said earlier not to do. Yeah. And people are like, oh, he's a hypocrite. Look at him. <laughs> Loo -de -do -de -do, right? They're going to say it just like that. That's what I was way. thinking. Yeah. That's my biggest fear come true. Okie okay, doke. Thank you, sir. Yep. What do you recommend for olive oil? What, which one's 100% real? That's a good question. I mean, olive oil? Yeah, there's a lot of. California olive ranch. Cal yeah, that's one of the best. California olive ranch is one of the best, and Lucini is one of the best store bought. The Thrive Market brand extra virgin olive oil is from Greece. That's a very good one, too. But there's a lot of fakers and uh, lying in the olive business. And now it's happening in the avocado oil business, too, because they're so lucrative. That's not good. Now the Spaniards are cutting. Uh, the avocado oil with canola oil. Ooh. It's terrible. Terrible. Milwaukee Brewer, $5. When you take guest iron outside, make sure you're wearing shoes. Prefer the old ones. Why? What is it? Why? I am going to wear shoes. That's a very good question. Oh, because I don't have to drop it on there? Laura Welch, happy birthday, Art. I'm a diehard Cubby fan. All Love right. to hear that. Go and my girl, Stillness Goner, very special birthday greetings to Mr. Handsome. Oh, thank you hey. so much. Hey. Hey. All right, you guys. These are done. So what I want to do Philip is... Gordner, $10. A very special birthday greeting to Mr. Handsome. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry, yes. Mr. Handsome is going to crack a bottle of keto wine now. Yep. All right, what's this? This is the great one. <laughs> Hello, Alan girl. Good to see you on there. I'll let Art do this. Gemini's birthday. So oh, I'll, boil, I'll boil a cauliflower. I'll boil a butternut squash. I'll whip it up in my blender with a big scoop of the Thrive Market uh, ghee, salt, pepper. The garlic's in there already. And then maybe just for shites and giggles, I'll put a little bit of coconut cream in there. Because I now I'm buying a new best-in-class coconut cream from uh, Thrive Market that's a little more expensive, but it's so much more creamy. It's really, really tasty. Is it? Mm. All right, let's get some wine glasses out here. We need to order some more wine glasses. Nice, and then- Thank you, thank you. Just to make sure we get the proper aeration for the birthday wine, this is a- an aerator. I've never opened a bottle of wine on a live stream. I was <laughs> so nervous I was going to screw it up because <laughs> this done that before. opens up the wine and actually does the same thing as the canting. Where did you get that aerator? Like 10 years ago with you at the houseware show? That's what I thought. Chartroyer. Chartroyer in the house. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you, Super Char, chat, my dear. Char. Char is such a longtime supporter from Michigan. The feeling is forever. Jill Chopsky, Art, I can help. I'm a professional wine opener. Well, <laughs> critique my my uh, performance there. I got it done, but I think it could have been more. Cheers. Efficient. Cheers. To the 41st birthday. Cheers, Cheers to you. Thanks for, Cheers. Thanks for being here. Here's to feeling good all the Keep time. Peace. Delicious. Dusty. Maggie says some, uh, some cheese would be in order. Uh, yeah, all I got is Parmesan all right now. Let's take it out. A little Parmesan? A little Parmy? A little parmy. I'm never going to object to the uh, king of cheeses or huh. the cheese. That wine is so good. It's delicious. It's so drinkable, you guys. Stangman, cheers. Stangman's in the house. Stangman, Stangman was actually house. sending me a message earlier saying that I should smoke the steak before uh, cooking it or grilling it, but I don't have a smoker and I didn't feel like putting wood chips in the grill. Um, because we were very busy today. So but yeah. Stangman, would that uh, recommendation still apply if you were grilling over coals? I know the other day you said it would be a sin not to grill that over coals. I just wonder, would you still smoke it or would you just throw some wood on there? So let me know. Oh, we've got to improve the, uh -huh. the grilling game. Karuna Rose. Our girl Karuna. $9. Dollars. Happy birthday, Art. Oh, it's nice. It's my sister's birthday, too. Happy birthday to Karuna Rose's sister. She has a name. I just don't know it. <laughs> I know. I'll, I'll throw that at her. Even if you have a gas grill like me, you can just put a pouch of uh, soaked wood chips and uh, put that uh, directly on the burner and it creates a nice smoking effect. But Chris told me that meat will not take on smoke any higher than 140. It'll start cooking normally, you know? So ideal world, I would take that beautiful steak, smoke it, then maybe bake it, then sear it. Is this cheese the 24 or the 36 month? That's a 24. Okay. Uh, That's good. I still have that wheel. Which one is oh yours? Nice. That one's mine. Whoa. 
Three Whoa, three three read, read these, Art. Holy oh. cow. Three in a row. Milwaukee Brewer, answering my question. Wear old shoes, $5, wear old shoes because oil can splatter all over them. It takes effort to ah. clean and oil on suede. Bare feet would be worse. Good point. Thank you, Milwaukee Brewer. I appreciate that. Jill Chovsky, $15. Happy birthday. Ah. You did amazing opening the wine on camera. Jackie with a I'm not, 50. I'm not making, the, making up the fact Thank that you, nervous. Jill. Thank you. Jackie, Jackie Adam Spiegel, so sweet. Hi, appreciate Bobby. that. Hi, Art. Wishing you a very happy birthday. Enjoy the dinner. Thank you so nice. much. Nice. Yeah, Stegman said meat, meat stops taking on smoke at 140 to 160, so yeah, use wood and coals uh, first. Let's see. How did you find those steaks? It's a company that um, a Flav City fan started called Shepherd Meats. Fantastic. Now, normally I might get some ground beef or some steaks at Thrive Market, but they don't have the long bone ribeye like that. So take a peek in here, Desi, if you haven't seen yet. I'm not going to open it quite yet, but we have this ginormous Fred Flintstone long bone Tasmanian Australian grass-fed ribeye and a grass-fed Tasmanian strip. We're going to cook that on the wire rack with a ton of gray salt until it's 115 degrees. Then we'll go outside and uh, fire those bad boys up on a cast iron griddle pan, actually. I have a, a plancha because we can't use a cast iron pan because the long bone. So, yeah. okay. Meanwhile, our cauliflower. And, and you have to cook something like that with the bone. If you got the bone, that's part of the spectacle. Oh, for gotta, sure, dude. What's this audio? Take it apart. Tammy Gardner, $5. Happy birthday, Art. Thanks for being the man behind the scene to get the great information we get. Hello, Filet City family. Thank you, Tammy. Nice. Uh, double L, my loving chat. husband will get a large cutting board. You got to go large, 18 by 24. You know I love my Illinois-based booze. Uh, once again, all my kitchen gear is always on the Amazon.com uh, slash shop slash Flav City store. Let's see here. I want to shout out. Alicia from New Jersey, do you believe in freeze-dried food? Yeah, it's a great snack. That's shelf-stable. Absolutely. Do you have anything like that? I'm just trying to think. I can't um, remember. Typically not. Okay. Typically, typically not. Have we tried any? I just um, I think there's something. Yeah, in a couple of videos we've uh, yeah. done it, I believe. Zori's asking about electrolytes because she's getting surgery. I highly recommend Yeah. Uh, harmless harvest. Coconut water. Coconut yep. The sake is I don't think they hear me. Yeah, harmless harvest coconut water is the best coconut water. The reason why Desi recommends that is electrolytes are very prevalent in coconut water. If you want some drops, there's one on Amazon called High Light. Very, very good. All the other powders and flavored ones are garbages. Let's see. What's the, everyone's asking about the wine. The wine is a Seco Wine Club. Straight out of Tuscany. Mm. I'm going to work on them on, work, uh, on getting an olive oil together. If you go to Seco Wine Club, you can check out the wine and use promo code BOBBY to get $15 off a shipping of three bottles or more. Now, they do have a sugar-free wine on, uh, on Thrive Market. I just got to check it to see uh, if I like it and make sure there's no chemicals at it because that's very important. I think I saw somebody mention that the steak reminds them of the Flintstones yes. when the car flips over. So yeah, For sure. Very good. Uh, what machine do you use to do your uh, almond milk, the homemade almond milk? Uh, the, about that. We use the almond cow, okay. but you can also use a blender and a nut milk bag, but the almond cow is really great. Really, really great. Is wheat bread good or what if it's organic? Well, if you're going to eat wheat bread, it has to be two things, organic and whole grain. So something like we have in the fridge from a previous video that Art's eating right now because we don't eat wheat. This Ezekiel is organic and sprouted. This is the best wheat bread you can get in the market. Sprouted is the best. Organic is a must. Otherwise, it scores high in glyphosate. So Ezekiel is fantastic. Shout out to Double L's husband. His birthday is today, too. Happy birthday. Oh, Double nice. May 22nder. This is the kind of bread that we eat. Base culture has keto and paleo bread. So there's no grains. There's no wheat. It's all... Almonds and flowers. Look at the ingredients. On it. This one's crazy. So this one, this is the paleo sandwich bread. I mean, this is so different than your typical breads. I mean, look at that. Cashew butter, almond butter, flax, almond flour, coconut flour. This is crazy stuff. I haven't seen this variety at the grocery store, but they do have the keto bread. It's expensive. It's $9.99 a loaf, but it's the only keto bread on the market that actually is... Rachel uh, Murray, yeah. $10, grass-fed ribeyes, lobster tails, prawns, sautéed mushrooms, Brussels sprouts. Oh, my God. And twice-baked potatoes for the hubby. Are you trying Lots to put of cooking tonight. Dang, That's a Rachel. Over there. 
Cheers to you. We ain't got no Thank you, Rachel. We ain't got no lobster tails here. Dave's Killer Bread is a, the best secondary bread. Yes. It is. Mm. What do you think of Sola bread? No, that has bad ingredients. Just read the ingredients. Base culture by far is the best one. Where do they sell Sola? I don't... Only don't online. Oh, okay. Yeah, only online. It's a keto bread. Right, let's check this guy. He's getting there. Babe, do me a favor. Fill this name so I can give a snack for us. Sure. Let me just see. So normally, you guys, you know the, uh, the cauliflower is ready. Peeler is right... Yeah, here, let me wash it for you. Yeah, one peeler. So you want the cauliflower to be fork tender, but not too mushy. Otherwise, it gets kind of waterlogged. I have to wash the uh, mango too? Oh, uh, just Bobby. Yeah, wash the mango. Bobby or Flav City, I forgot, one of the two. I'll wash the mango, Desi said. Oh, just some water. Mango. So I like to mush it like this. So this, this one's done. Fifty pounds. Wow. See, way to go. keto, paleo, non-inflammatory foods, no grains. That's the way to go, homie. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna scoop this cauliflower directly into my thermomix. You can use a blender, and then add the. I'm gonna add the uh, butternut squash, and then I'll scoop some coconut cream in here. Whoa. Wow. Sorry. Thanks for everything you do. I'm so inspired by you. My dad is diabetic and it was hard to have food variety for him. Ever since I found you guys, he can now eat quality keto food that we never knew existed. Happy birthday, Art. Wow. Thank you so much. Love to hear that. Thank you, Dusty. Thank you for the super chat. That was very sweet of you. Too kind. Art is cleaning up tonight. Art is? <laughs> what am I doing? You're cleaning up tonight. Oh, okay. <laughs> Should I do all this butternut, Ben? I might as well, right? This thing is, uh... It's hard to peel. Well, it's, it's ripe, so the peel. These are in season right now, you guys. They're called Honey Mangoes or Alta Ufo Mango. Is there one other name? Champagne, right? Uh, champagne Mango. Yep. Funny honey story. Mango. Honey Mango. Desi and I went to um, Ecuador for mango season uh, two years ago. And the day we left for Ecuador, we found out that Desi was pregnant with Rose. Very, very exciting. And then we're like, oh man, we're going to a third world country that might not have the cleanest water. The day we find out you're pregnant after it took two years to get pregnant. Yes. <laughs> but it turned out to be a great trip. We made really good friends. We learned so much about mangoes. It was really cool. This is going so well. <laughs> Given the choice of this or peeling shrimp. Ah. I might peel the mango. So this, you guys, is the coconut milk that I'm drinking the Kool-Aid of. It's the most creamy, emulsified coconut milk on the market, native forest, with no guar gum. It's organic, which is not necessary with, uh, with coconuts, but it's nice. It's normally four bucks at Whole Foods. It's $3 on uh, Thrive Market. All right, check out the, uh, whoa, mamacita. Hey, W, $50. Hey, w, happy birthday, Art. Excited to know I share my birthday with Dang. you. Happy birthday. Oh, wait, my hands are dirty. Can you scroll? I yes. Read it. <laughs> share the same birthday with you. Save me some steak. I like it. Still ah, bleeding. Still bleeding on the plate when served. Bali and Desi, keep up the great work. Use your channel for health and life skills. Class for Amazing. Thank, Thank you. That was too kind. That was Mirna, very nice. Mirna. Kenningsdorf, $9.99. Happy birthday, Art. Wow. You moved it. And then Pet Hole Becky. Happy wow, Art is getting Art, some major love here. Thank you all so much. Now I'm going to do two, kind. two kinds of fat in here. That's the coconut fat, but then I'm going to go in here and get one of the best ghees on the market and one of the best deals. The grass-fed organic ghee. We'll put a couple scoops in there. I like to do it while it's hot. As Paris Hilton say, that's hot. Did she say that? Yeah. I don't remember that one. That was her tag line. That's hot. <laughs> um, so that's great. But like I said, check the box real quick, Des. This is the other ghee I like too. Now listen, we got to show love for Thrive Market once again. They've been a supporter of the channel for three years. I put this into my tea every morning. It's grass-fed collagen. I firmly believe this is so good for your joints, your hair, and for your gut. They have paleo taco shells that are made with 
avocado oil and chia seeds. They're cheaper than the siete and they're delicious. We talked about, this is probably the best coconut oil on the market and it's all cheaper than anything you can get in the grocery store. Check this out, Desi. I always say right below the video, right here. Right, this is how we support the channel, by supporting the people who uh, sponsor it like Thrive. You click on the link right below the video. When you sign up for a year-long membership, you get a $20 credit. It's a no-brainer. You try it out. If you don't like it, you can always cancel. They'll give you your money back for the membership. But Thrive Market has the goods, and I built a pantry bundle uh, landing page to show you my favorite pantry staple. So try them out, uh, and thank you guys for supporting the channel for three years now. Okay. Oh, yeah, it's time for a row. I'm going to cut that mango for you. Yeah. Pretty small pieces. Mm -hmm. This is a great little knife here. It's a paring knife. It's a Shun uh, Hikari. They only have the like, Hikari at uh, William Sonoma. I wish they would have it other places, but the blade is meant to mimic a Japanese hornet's nest. Not to be confused. Hornets with, nest. Not to be confused hornets with nest. the uh, murder hornets. The yeah, the Chinese murder I'm hornets. Tenacious D when they were on Saturday Night Live, they did a song "Hornets Nest." I wonder how many people know about that. If anybody does, please let me know. All of this or no? Yeah, but then cut it in like very small pieces. You're dulling your knife by cutting it on there. It's okay. I gotta send them off to the uh... Daniel Galeana, happy birthday Arturo, hashtag mad love from Austin, Texas. Thanks so nice. much. Nice, Austin, Texas. Great place. Lots of cool stuff happening in Austin, Texas. Cheese balls for heart, inner peace. <laughs> <laughs> where's the the cheese ball myth is perpetuated. Yeah, where's the the Utz's cheese balls? They don't sell those on Thrive Market, I don't think. Art has upgraded to uh, Parmesan cheese and wine. <laughs> That's right. Drink some more wine, Artio. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, first time. Hey, all right, let's, let's put the uh, probe thermometer. The probe? The probe. I got to try this. Would you want me to take the camera for a second? Yes. Just for a second, I'll yep. be back. Oh, mm, my God. So good, right? Oh. Special K, I got to give a birthday shout out to Special K. We share the same B-Day. Happy B-Day, Art. I do enjoy you guys and the little ones stealing the show. Well, that's awesome. Thank you, Special K. Happy birthday. All right, well, all right, let's put the probe thermometer in here. So the steak's been going for about 25 minutes. It's nowhere near done, I don't think. But here's how we make sure we don't overcook it. And I should probably do two probes. What do you say, Art? Because we have two pieces of meat. If you got two, might as well. They're not going to cook the same bread. Exactly. Right. Let's first put this one and Look at here. that salt just like crusted that's, that's on there. That's freaking beautiful. So we'll put that right in the middle of the steak. Uh, Art's behind the camera now, Jill. Trot. Oh, it's a steak at 116 already. Uh, That's not possible. Is it going into the center? Oh, it, it feels like it. Let me see. Like, let's see here. Hold on. Hit the pan. Through and through. There. Wow, 111 already okay. for this one? After JB, $17. Happy birthday, brother Art. Have a wonderful day. Oh, nice. JB, thanks for that super chat. We thank you. Thanks for the birthday greetings. And oh, That didn't sound good. Stangman says convection. I forgot convection, bro. I don't know if you want convection for this, though, do you? When you're trying to... Yeah, I don't care about a crust right now. So I don't know if it really matters. Let me get that out. Measuring spoon out of here, otherwise bad things are going to happen. Kiss rules. No, I am not getting drunk tonight. <laughs> Enjoy this wine with the meal. Okay, so for this one, i got to be careful. I'm going to put this right in the middle like that. Right, let's close the Thank door you, here. Donna. And then hook up this That's one. That's right, no convection for steak. Uh, the other, here it is. This is why it's nice to have more than one. But I mean, this is almost done, the uh, ribeye. And this guy is at 86, so this one's much lower. The strip steak's cooking much quicker, which makes sense. I mean, it's a boneless, probably 12-ounce steak. So the strip I'm going to cook till 118. And this one I'm going to cook till... Nope, Rebecca, do not. You know, I'm going to do 115 on the strip. And one, I feel like I'm a Neo at the uh, Matrix here. And let's do 118 for the ribeye. So this is, the strip's almost done, which means we can uh, fire up the... Uh, gazpacho. Gazpacho, also known as the... Uh, the grill. The cast iron grill pan very, very soon. 
All right. Time for a haircut, Bobby. I think we're all... We're I got all nowhere to go. We can all take that accusation. I was supposed I to get a haircut the day the quarantine went into effect. because So I'm overdue more than anyone else. I got my haircut the day before the quarantine went into effect, but yeah. I need a haircut. You're very lucky. Sarah Windmuller. Hi, Bobby and Art. Happy birthday. They say it's your birthday. <laughs> it's my birthday too, yeah. Love Happy birthday. birthday. Teresa, Teresa, loving the cookbook. Thank you. Love to hear that. All right, you guys. We got 1,100 people watching. We got... The we got the tomahawk ribeye in the oven. We got cauliflower and, and butternut squash boiling to make a whip with lots of ghee. Desi's about to get rocking and rolling on. Uh, don't forget about Desi. By the way, Desi, what are you making tonight? I'm making an upside down apple cake. That's paleo. Yum. Okay, steak is done. This is why we look strip steak. Strip steak. This is what we did. Take a look at that. That's why we put the th thermometer in there. So I'm gonna take a mini, mini sheet tray here. Inner piece, it's great having a thousand people plus. And then I'll just grab the steak out. Now look, you look at it and you're like, well, that's not done, Bobby. It's got no color. The inside is done. The exterior isn't. I'm gonna sear that on a blazing, blazing hot pan of glory. Blazing saddles. Blazing saddles. But I'm gonna do it outside, which we should probably go outside now and start firing that guy up. So this is fine, but it's gonna keep carrying over a little bit. But this is the kind of steak where I want it pretty raw in the middle, to be honest. Stangman says, move fast to keep the juice in. Oh, the juice ain't going nowhere. I'm not worried about that. Now, I don't think this one's gonna carry over as much, Art, because we had a uh, pretty, pretty low uh, oven. What do you think? You know? Probably not. Yeah, so this, so I wonder if we should bake it a little longer. What do you think? What's the temperature on that one? Uh, 118, I said it. Because that bone is like a heat sink. Uh, 93. Yeah. Now, do you think we should cook this longer then, actually? Because it's not going to carry over that much. What do you think? I pulled it at 115. It's already 117. How long do you plan to cook it out there? Until it's super golden. I don't mind it pretty rare in the middle for a strip, do you? I don't mind. I feel a ribeye should be a little more, though. What do you think? That's cool, man. So for the ribeye, let's bump that up to 120. What do you guys think? This is gonna 115, maybe carry over to 123. Stangman saying no. No Alan, what? Alan Floyd saying no. No what? I don't know. They just said no. <laughs> no, 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 no. Is that what they're saying? Are they dancing? What are y'all saying? <laughs> Renee Dunham says, D Denham says, Desi, you rock. Love the apple cake. It's so awesome. Sherry says, cook it more. Karen says, yes, do it, do it, no, it, no, yes, hmm. yes. I don't know what we're talking about. Yes and no. <laughs> Are you guys related? The answer is no. I think it's going to be fine. There's going to be a lot of heat via conduction going in that cast iron pan. Oh, I think Sir Rachel Murray says you asked about 120. So I think people are saying no. Ah, so don't raise it. Okay. I want to leave the target as is, I guess. Okay. Well, 120 for the ribeye? Or 115 that we did? Uh, yeah, I had 118 before. Right, so is, is the 118 because you think it's going to carry over from this, or is that just to make sure that when you sear it, you get to the temperature you want? Yeah. You, you're concerned about carry over here? No. Too? N knowing that we're reverse searing, I'm not too concerned about carry over now. So I think 120, and it won't go any higher than 130 at the end. For a ribeye, 130 really is optimal. Yeah. 119. Let's uh, put it on the grill, get it golden. Don't raise to 120 for the ribeye. Leave it 118. Okay. And a question, Bobby rocking socks today? Because we're going to go outside right now to preheat the Esther cast iron Esther Linton, pan. 499. Let's Happy go outside. Happy to you, Art. So we have the new mesh network going. So we may have a slight little hiccup here, but it should stabilize. So forewarning y'all. Okay, so this is outside. This is what I'm talking about. I have my uh, portable gas burner here, and I like to cook and sear things out here. That way Mother Nature takes care of things. So, for lighting purposes, let's switch sides, Art. I'm just gonna put this down yonder. Where's the best place to do this, maybe? Uh, <laughs> Clarification here. Bobby, you just asked everyone if you should cook the tomahawk to 123 degrees, and they are responding. Oh, okay, thank you for reminding what I said. And then, this is what I'm gonna cook the steaks on to finish. This is a plancha or a cast iron griddle pan. Are you gonna heat that up in the kitchen and then bring it out here and then turn this on? It's probably smarter to do that, what do you think? Yeah, because yeah. this 
is not the most even heat. So maybe we'll do this inside. You can grill on this side. It's just very tough to uh, clean or sear on this side. So let's go back inside. Joanne Eckelkraut, $5. Could you please explain to me what exactly is paleo? Which one is better, keto or paleo? Well, I mean, keto is, you leave it open. Okay. Keto is low carb and allows dairy. Paleo allows no dairy and you can have complex carbohydrates. I'd say for weight loss, if you have a real weight problem, I would go with keto to start, but just for clean eating and lowering some weight and lowering maybe uh, some high blood pressure and infl inflammation, paleo keto is good too. Thank you for that uh, super chat, Joanne, on your question, appreciate that. Okay, so we'll start getting this going here. I'm gonna put this over the hottest burner I have. Sherry Howe wants to know, why don't you use the grill on the deck? I'm sure a lot of people are asking that. Uh, I'm preheating it in here, it's easier. The grill, that grill doesn't get hot enough, to be honest, and I haven't fired it up all year, so it's not ready, it's not clean. But I feel like with that one, if we were gonna do it, yeah, I can probably start it over indirect heat, get it to temperature, and then fire it up, but it doesn't get as hot as I'd want. So I'm not gonna get the kind of sear that you'll see. I'm gonna get this La Crusade cast iron griddle pan blazing hot. Think of like Blaze of Glory, Bon Jovi style. Put some avocado oil on there and just sear the crud out of it. You're breaking Stangman's heart. He says, needs flame kissed. Can't do it, bro, but look at this. Our steak did carry over five degrees to 120. I just went back to one, there we go. So I think after searing it, it'll probably get up to about 126, which is rareish, but I'm good with that with the, cool uh, with with the strip. I'm I've good with that. I've eaten a steak blue before, so. Did you enjoy that? Uh, well, <laughs> the place I ordered at, I guess I shouldn't say it blue. I ordered a blue, it came out medium rare. Ah. <laughs> Sarah Windmuller on her birthday is making dinner with you, Bobby. Oh, nice, Sarah. So is Rachel. She's making dinner for sure. Sujatha, thank you. So someone says, how hard is it to grill a steak? Honestly, it's not the easiest because you have to have even heat. You have to have two zones, a cool zone and a hot zone. And ideally you want to sear over the hot zone, move to the cool zone, but it's not that easy. Oh, what did you say the cast iron pan was called? Here's the name, because it's the same company that makes the uh, Dutch oven, Le Creuset. Oh, it has a name right here. I guess I could have looked right there. So stupid art. <laughs> so stupid. It's like Chris Farley. Oh, so, so stupid. stupid. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. Okay, so this is done, the butternut squash. I'm gonna drain that. And then we'll blend it up with the cauliflower, the ghee, the coconut oil, the garlic, salt, and pepper. And that's our, what was a keto mash turning into a paleo mash because of the butternut squash. Somebody earlier said that you need to get a Traeger grill. Oh and yeah. And then uh, somebody just said you need to get a green egg for Father's Day. Well, I'd rather have a Traeger grill because those are pellet grills and they have that nice smokiness from the pellet and they heat up very, very quick. Adrian, it's my birthday today, and uh, a few other folks here on the stream. I know Sarah Winmuller's birthday. I saw like two, three other birthdays on there. So to recap, boiled cauliflower, butternut squash, garlic, salt, pepper, grass-fed Thrive Market ghee, and a little bit of coconut cream went in there. We're gonna whip that up into a really nice puree now, so watch this. You can do this in any blender you want, but the Thermomix really adds some power in there. So we'll just buzz it up. It's really good for a rose, too. Whip it up into shape. <laughs> this Ash, is actually good for special, a rose. Special K's birthday here, too. And he's given a 1999 Super Chat. Go! Go! Hey, Rose. So look at that art. That's baby food. Thank you so food. much, Special K. I'm actually going to give that to Rose later on too. But I promise you, you're probably going to have to adjust it for seasoning. But look at that beautiful color. Ash is loving her Traeger. Yeah, I got to get one of the Next house, I'll get a Traeger for sure. Wow. Velvety, silky, buttery, but under seasoned. I think my Costco had some Traeger product in there the really? other day. That's they cool. had a whole bunch of girls out there. A little bit of salt. Whip it up, Devo. And you know what? Oh, Just Devo, because it's Devo. Art's birthday, I'm gonna add a little more ghee. Oh, I'm ghee. Just to make it buttery. You could also put like a little shtickle of uh, 
Lemon juice in there for acid. Joseph Finley said, wow, I thought that chopper was Bobby laughing. <laughs> Taco Rocco, Joseph. 499. Happy birthday, Art. Great live event, Bobby. We thank you, Taco Rocco. That's how we rock, homie. That's how we rock. Happy birthday to those of you who share a birthday with Art. All the best to you. Cheers to everyone tonight. Okay. Guten Abend from Deutschland. Ben hey, Deutschland Parkhoff. in the house. Happy birthday, Art. Thank you. SNL Bassomatic. <laughs> Thing, man. I'm going to let Art check this one for seasoning, and he can tell us if it needs any adjustment. It's pretty good. It's good. That's pretty good. Salt on point? I think it's on point. All right. That's what you I love test, to hear. Make sure. I want you All to right. taste it too. Let me right. see. Okay. Let's see. I wish I could have you guys taste it. You can be like, you know, hum, hum. Let's see. Ooh! Just that addition of that little bit of gray salt. Not crappy salt. We're using gray salt. What is that? It is unrefined Celtic gray salt loaded with minerals that gives it a salty, complex flavor. Hum, hum, hum. Look at that. Everyone's like, hum, hum, hum. <laughs> Hey, you, we learned that from you, Rose. The hum, hum, hum. The hum, hum, hum. You're the inspiration. Yes, you're the inspiration for hum, hum. Okay, let's check our ribeye in real time here. Ribeye's at 104. Check it out, Art. So I have my thermometer. Brisbane, Australia, watching. Nice. I wish I had time to go there. So we're making Tasmanian steaks, by the way. 119 is my target, 104 we're at. This pan here is getting ripping hot. It's getting smoking. Oh, look at that. You can yep. see the smoke. Can you see the smoke, guys? Oh, yeah. So now I want to be very, very careful. I'm going to get my heat proof gloves, which are here. How does gray salt differ from pink salt? Um, it's the mineral content that's different. Pink salt is typically from the Pakistani region and can really vary in quality. Gray salt from Celtic gray salt. Get it on Thrive Market using my promo code below the video is one of the best salts in the world, in my opinion. Great for cooking or finishing. Big Daddy Scoop says, RIP, Frank Costanza. That's right. Where's That's right. the uh, gloves for the... Uh, uh, oh, we use try them. it on there. Maybe. Or... I prefer to use the... I thought we used them... We did. I hmm. put them back in one of these. Desi, do you know where the uh, oven gloves are? Anyone? Bueller? Bueller? Bueller. Bueller. Hmm. Okay. No, I don't think so. I guess I have to use these. I'm going to double up on these because this thing's really hot, you guys. So I'm going to move fast. We're going to take this guy. Thank you, Julie. Appreciate the uh, Wilmington birthday greetings. Denise Perez, Houston, Texas, home of your Bucky's Nuggets. That's right. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, so very. I'm going to cover this up to keep it warm, too. You know what's fun about the Thermomix? Check this out, Art. I could actually say, hey, for the next 15, 25 minutes, keep this warm at 130 degrees oh, and just stir convenient. it. Look at that. And Very it's just, nice. That's nice. I, we're supposed to give one away on Instagram, but they haven't given me the green light yet. All right, do me a favor. When I pick this up, you uh, turn the uh, burner off. Okay. You don't want to leave it on? No, I don't want to leave it on. I'm going to run outside. Come with me, Arthur. Glastonbury in the house. Nice. Thank you, Arwen. This is so hot. Appreciate the, the birthday the greetings. The heat is emanating from here, you guys. It's crazy. Okay, now it goes on here. And then I turn the heat as high as it goes. Let me make sure the heat's on. Do you see the flame light? Nope. Let's see. There Adelaide, Australia is in the house, 7.20 a.m. Pat and Norm, welcome. Okay, there we go. I did not hide the oven gloves, Maggie. Now. Here's my setup. Check it out, Art. I've got the avocado oil. I'm going to get the steak. I'll be back. All right, keep them company. Follow you. No, you stay there. Keep them company. Right. Okay. I'll try to kill time here. Let's see. Nice sandals. Okay, well, that's Bobby. All right. Cheers from Iowa. First time. Hey, Desi, if the uh, alarm goes off on the uh, steak, let me know, okay? Totally changed meal time for us. But that's what we want to hear. Thanks for being here with us. Okay. And we're back. I'm going to close the door. It's going to get smoky here. Bobby. 
Now keep in mind, you guys, you want a high heat oil for this. You don't want to use like an avocado or a olive oil or something. That's why I'm using avocado oil. It's perfect for this high heat sear. Now, oh, can you see the smoke coming off of there? Oh yeah. This is, this is what you want. You want something crazy hot. So we'll put a little bit of oil down and then make sure it doesn't splatter you. Look at that. Push it down so it makes good contact. Now, obviously my deck is a little uneven because the oil is running that way, but it's okay. Perfect. We'll just let it do its thing. I'd say art, the most important thing right now is don't touch it, right? And let the smoke blow in my face. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful, you guys? Now, here's what a lot of people do. They'll put it in the pan and they'll start poking it and stuff like that. The more you poke it, you're disturbing Thank that you, sear. Just let it do its thing. And when it is nice and crusty, it'll actually release from the pan as is. Colleen, you are correct. So I'm thinking like a minute on that side and we'll see what it looks like. Let's zoom in here. That's beautiful. That's beautiful. That's a nice, that should be the whole live stream right there. Just watching steak sizzle? Yeah. You don't sell the I steak. Would, if there was like a 24 hour webcam of sizzling steak, I would watch it. Now in the meantime, check this out, Art. How happy am I that back Probably two, three weeks ago, Art and I went to Costco and we got the seven cubic foot freezer because it's come in handy during Corona and I've got it loaded. When I got it, there's nothing in here. What do I have in here? I have tons of Thrive Market pasture raised pork, pork bacon, pork chops, all that good stuff. I have some uh, Daily Harvest smoothies in here. These are actually pretty darn good. What is that? Uh, Daily Harvest uh, smoothies. Oh, cool. I've got the Keto cauliflower uh, sandwich thins. These are fantastic for making sandwiches. I've got some uh, grass-fed filet mignons from uh, Shepherd Meat from Tasmania. Uh, what else do I have? We just did a breakfast review. I talked about some of the best breakfast stuff. This is a really cool waffle that's actually made with um, whole wheat and really good ingredients, but the whole wheat is not organic. And because of that, it's not Bobby approved because non-organic wheat scores high in glyphosate thank you finley appreciate the birthday greetings got up i mean we have so much stuff i just can't even reach down here we have these beautiful burger patties that are grass-fed um and a lot of stuff so thank god we got this i have more um thank you carol i got more of that beautiful uh thrive market pasture raised pork you know buried down there but uh this stuff's delicious doesn't the meat get freezer burn no why would it get freezer burn you're just thinking that you got so much in there it takes a while and just no, gets burned it's all good all right let's check the steak Okay. Don't step on the steak. It'd be like uh, <laughs> Michael Scott and the George Foreman Grill. Right. Oh, oh yeah. That's what you want. Look at that crust, you guys. That's pretty beautiful. I think it just needs a stickle more of oil. Do you do the sides of the steak too? Oh, for sure. Okay. Yeah. Absolutely. But to see the beautiful thing about doing this on the patio is that all this smoke is not going in my house. The I wouldn't smell. mind that. I, I love the smell of steak. No, no. I don't care if the my whole smell, house. I don't mind. The smoke, I do. Now, this is going to finish cooking it, too. This is the beautiful thing about the reverse sear. You cook it in the oven at a low temperature. Because if I were to, <laughs> if I were to sear this first, <laughs> the gradient or the gray mark from the sear, what do you think, Art? It can go too deep sometimes, right? It could. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm not complaining. So this, when you have a thick steak... Reverse searing is the way to go because the sear won't go too deep into the meat. Whereas if you do the traditional thing of sear, then oven roast, that sear mark tends to go pretty deep into the meat. So the deck's not really open yet, but Desi does a great job. We have some beautiful um, patio furniture from Ikea over there. And then uh, we usually have a nice garden night and we plant uh, that sh uh, all the flowers and everything in the garden. Don't go past 135. Mm. Double L saying that. Don't go... Well, I don't even have my probe here. I'm not too worried about that. I could stick the probe at the end. I'm guessing we'll be max 130. Uh, Michael, Bobby doesn't think this grill goes hot enough to get a good sear on the steak, so that's why we're going cast iron. Making sure the other steak isn't there. Matrix art on the first bite into the steak. Okay. I think that was a one-time thing. I, I don't want to tight cast myself as always Let's being... Let's uh, the sides now. Cypher. This is beautiful. Look at that, you guys. Come on. Give a little thumbs up. I want to see the thumbs up go from 221 to 250. Stangman says pull it, in my opinion. Pull it? No, i got to do the sides. Give me 15 seconds on the side, homie. 
But after you do this art, how important is it to rest the meat? Oh, you've got to let it rest. Why? The juices are just going to like fly everywhere. Would you say you got to keep them separated and resting? Keeping it separated doesn't make sense in this context, I'd say. I agree. But I like the song, so I would sing it anyways. No, I love the fact that... ASMR on point, says Alan Girl. And I want to just go on the top here. Yeah, maybe I should stick my neck like right there so the microphone <laughs> really works well. Woo! Here we go. That should be the thumbnail of the Keep video right there. Keep separated. Now, the other steak is ready, so you should probably turn the heat off of the pan, right? You want to turn it off? Why? I, I prefer not to, but... Yeah. We can't keep it going, you know? When's the other steak coming out? I, we should check it. Okay, that's done, you guys. Look at this. This is insane. I think done. we need to like wipe it down with some paper towels or something. Yeah. Otherwise, that's going to like be Probably. your worst enemy. Yeah. So let's kill the heat for a second. Keep our tongs out here. Uh, let's go back inside. Probably worse enemies than that, but... <laughs> okay. Now, we have to rest this, like Art said, to redistribute the juices. But we can also add more flavor and moisture while it's resting. Donna Tyler, $49.99. Donna, sir, Donna. Keep up the content. Wow. Look so forward to your videos. Thank now, you, Donna. We're almost there, actually. We're at 114 for the ribeye. So I can't leave that pan going out there because it's like it'll burn the building down, basically. <laughs> but here's what I want to do. Because it's Art's birthday, I'll reach for the expensive. You're worth it, Art. Oh, I'll get the expensive wow, ghee here, and then I'll put a nice dab all over the steak. Look at this, you guys. Oh, and then it has to rest like a little baby, right? Rose takes naps. Now the steak has to take a nap too. Perfect. But I want to tent it with tin foil. And you know what? Just for shites and giggles, let's stick that into the middle and see where we're at. Jackie Haddam Spiegel, 1999. You are amazing. And there is a pair that is just going nuts. Jackie, you, Jackie. you're the sweetest, Jackie. And by the way, for all y'all that were worried about it overcooking, look at the internal temperature art. 126 degrees. And climbing. And climbing a little bit, which tells me actually art. Well, let's see where it, where it lands at, because we're going to use this as a guide for our ribeye. Benchmarking it? Yeah. Because if I pull the ribeye at 119 and it finishes at 131-ish, that's perfection. Oh, this is good. This is going really nice. Bobby, is siete cashew queso keto? That's tough to say. Let's see. I have it right in my fridge here. It's delicious, I can tell you that. My guess is yes, it is. Let me just pull it out. Can I show you something that is keto? Look at the ingredients on this. This is cauliflower hummus. The sunflower oil is expeller pressed, but the owner told me they're going to transition just to olive oil. But how cool is that product? And it's so delicious. Okay, so here it is, you guys. Here's the uh, one of the best things on the market, I think. Dairy-free cashew queso. A two tablespoon serving has one gram of net carb. So yes, it is. Because it's not just cashews. It's cashews mixed with... There we go. Water, tomatoes. So two tablespoons has one net carb. Keto and Bobby approved. The flavor on that is literally amazing. It does. I want to start the, can I start? Yeah, yeah, start, uh, start your cake. Okay, I want to start with our. And, and Stangman says the bone in will affect the temperature too. Cause it's like a heat sink. Affected, how so? It's gonna take more heat to raise the temperature of it. Is ah. that what you're saying, Stangman? I'm going to put the steak over here. Where are no, you going to do your thing? You're saying it'll uh, carry over more or less because of the bone. Because obviously it takes longer to cook with the bone. I don't think it's going to carry over that much coming off of the pan. Thank you, Wanda. So, Desi, what are you doing over there? Starting on the cake, babe. First, first things first, we've got to cook some apples because it's an apple cake. Cool. Christina Anwar, $9.99. Happy birthday, Art. Steak is looking perfect, Bobby. Can't wait to see your cake, Desi. Thank you, Christina. All right. For that I'm super chat. I've never made this cake before. I have made the batter before as a cake, but I've never made the upside down with the apples. So this is going to be interesting. Stangman says bone keeps heat in. Okay. I like it, Stangman. Mm. Julie mangoes. Foss is making her chicken wings tonight. Oh, nice, Julie. 
Tara Duddy's excited about dessert. I am too. Chris A G999, thank you with a uh, Domaya 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 Wow. When resting, the bone holds the heat. So is he saying that it's not going to carry over as much? My wife's birthday is Sunday. Jesse, Jesse just gave her a dessert idea. Ray, my boy Ray Farrell. I like that, Ray. Happy birthday to your wife, Ray. All right, guys, we have 1,300 people watching. We're doing Steak Up Palooza tonight. Resting right over here is a grass-fed strip steak. Look at that ghee. The ghee already melted into that steak. It's staying oh, warm. Lift it up again. I and it's currently... Oh, wow, it carried over to 132. Giddy up. I was zooming. So actually knowing that, I think I'll lower this. Actually, you know what? We're at 118. Boom. 119. Let's pull the ribeye art. That's how steak is done. <laughs> uh, let me get under here. I can't find the oven gloves anywhere. I don't know what happened. Tara, hey. Far, I always want to get people's names I as know, right it's as strange. I can. Okay, let's get this out. I need somewhere safe to put it. Then we're going to go straight to that grill pan outside. Look at this ribeye, you guys. Now, it doesn't look the sexiest right now, but it's perfectly done in the middle. Maggie B is such an accuser. She, like, accuses me of hiding the uh, oven mitts. <laughs> I, it probably was art, to be honest. But it's all right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What is this? What do you want your temperature for your cakes, Woody, for the 350. oven? 350. 350 for Desi. Now, I'm going to go outside real quick. Stay here, Art. I'm going to preheat that pan just to get it rocking and rolling again. So I'll narrate, or I'll... Just get a little closer here so the microphone works. So Desi is chopping apples here. You said you're gonna saute these apples? Not trying, I'm coconut oil. In the cast iron pan, so nice the cast iron kind of nice. Anything with the apples in the oil? We'll add some maple syrup, keep cool. it paleo. Cool. Yep. Any questions here for Desi? Yeah, that's right, Grace Khan. It's Art's birthday, give him a break. Don't start accusing him of hiding oven mitts, <laughs> oven gloves. <laughs> what did Bobby, dro Bobby drop in my maple syrup oh, here? Oh, that, uh, the uh, butternut squash. Art. You're accusing it me too. <laughs> no, I, it's, it's I dropped the cauliflower on there. No, it slipped out of my hand and, oh no, it landed in this though. My oh, butternut so squash cool. landed in there. It landed yeah. in there. We can go back and play the tape if you don't believe me. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, but, I did see something. I think wild. it was probably collateral damage. It's shrapnel. Mm -hmm. shrapnel. squash shrapnel. <laughs> the safest kind out there. All right, guys. We're in the middle of this room. We got a lot of cooking right now. I'm preheating the cast iron griddle outside so we can sear that beautiful ribeye. Uh, once again, if you didn't hear it earlier, we got to thank today's sponsor, Thrive Market. Check this out, Art. All of my favorite keto paleo pantry staples are available on Thrive Market for 30% cheaper than the grocery store. Best of all, right below the video here, they gave us a promo code. If you haven't tried Thrive, Thrive Market, just check it out. Click the link below the video. It takes you to my pantry staple bundle. You can get a $20 shopping credit when you sign up for an annual membership. If you don't like Thrive, cancel after 30 days. They'll give you your membership back, but you keep the $20 shopping credit. Why do I love them? Because they have really high quality stuff, including pasture-raised pork and they're a longtime supporter of the channel. So thank you guys and definitely check them out because you don't have to go to the grocery store if you don't want to. Toons has caught an oven mitt on fire. It's stuck to the bottom of the pan when she put it in the oven. Ah, nice. Uh, ask Desi, I've never heard of apple upside down cake. Is this a thing or did you make it up? <laughs> Just Google, it's all over the internet. There, the, you know, the more familiar one is probably the pineapple upside down cake, but you can make it with any kind of fruit. Uh, it's a great one if you make it with peaches, also very popular. Millions um, of peaches. Millions yeah. of peaches? Peaches for free? Apples, apple upside down cake is a real thing. Happy belated birthday to you, Leanne. All right, I want Thank you to you see this. Things. This steak has carried all the way over to 134, which still is medium rare, but I pulled it from the oven at 118, all right, right? Yeah. So to carry over 16 degrees is unbelievable, which reinforces the point. Don't cook your steak to the exact temperature you want. Know that if I do it in the oven at a higher temperature, I sear it afterwards, it's gonna carry over five to 10 degrees, or in this case, 14, 15 degrees. Totally crazy. Okay, let's go back outside, Art. So I'm gonna get a few paper towels. What do you think I can scrape the grill with out there, Art? Uh, 
Just Ele towels? Ele you wad up some aluminum foil into a ball and it gets oh, kind let's of Let's do it. Be before you guys go, can I mix something on can camera? Yeah, mix something on camera, sure. Okay, so I have three egg yolks here. I've separated the egg yolks and the egg whites. Okay. Three egg yolks. I'm going to mix those up with a third of a cup of coconut oil. That's that beautiful uh, Thrive Market coconut yeah, oil. You okay, Rosie one. girl? And for this one, you can just use a whisk. Whisk it real good. Whisk it real good. Some vanilla. Uh, 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 Tara uh, Duddy, uh. you know what I'm talking about. Presidents of the United States of America. Two teaspoons of vanilla right there. We want to add the maple syrup. I just want to see fish out the in. butternut squash. <laughs> is optional. Or is, or is that mango? Mango remains? Uh, could be. I take uh, no credit for that. And Denise, uh, spelt is Mango. not uh, keto or paleo. It's just a whole a grain. We try to All avoid right, grains. I'm add uh, maple syrup, about a half a cup. Erin, it's a paleo cake. It's not keto. And then I'm going to add a teaspoon of lemon. What kind of apples are you using? Honey crisp, organic. Honey crisp. They're the sweetest. They're we so love crispy honey crisp. Sweet. Uh, leaven the cake. I'm gonna add it in a second. Good question from Monica. I see that, Monica. Um, yeah, that's uh, a good question. Uh, you, can go, you can guys go outside. Now. If you have a problem, Monica, just email them. They'll always give you your money back. Their customer service is good. I would try the Thrive Market pasture raised pork bundle for uh, breakfast tomorrow morning. We're in, this is one of the best things that I have. The pasture raised pork bacon is sugar free, but all of their pork is from a small family farm in Georgia. It's 100% non-GMO, pasture-raised. You've never had pork like this in your life. Do they Art. pack it with dry ice? Um, they do. You probably want to try to be home to get it right away if you live in Arizona. Yeah, you want to be home. All right, check that out, Art, and then we're going to go outside. Yeah. I'll be outside for you, Art. So I've got about a quarter cup of coconut oil in here and approximately one big honey crisp apple sliced thin. I'm going to let that go for a little bit and add some maple syrup. That's good. All right, let's go see what's going on here. I, I forgot the steak. <laughs> What'd you forget? I forgot the steak. <laughs> of all of it, I do have my aluminum foil, but I forgot the aluminium. steak. Aluminum? Was that Led Zeppelin question there, Alan Girl? I remember quoting uh, Devo. Okay. Here we go. And I remember quoting uh, presidents of the United States of America. This is going to be a beast. By the way, props to uh, yes, Le Creuset, Arts Buddy Steve O, and uh, well, and uh, millions of peaches, not the lemon song. What's up, Dano? And uh, Finley for giving us good recommendations for uh, setting up the mesh network. So I just want to scrape away the crud from the previous steak here, and then mop up a little bit of that oil so it doesn't tip over. All right, and then smoke city. add a little. I think we got the Windy City smoke out right here. It's not <laughs> happening. And then we'll go like this, straight on there. See, now the side on the under one even is less color, but it doesn't matter. Hey, Rose. <laughs> Stangman says cover it with foil for smoke, but I think that might like raise the temperature inside even more, though. Like, yeah. Like a mini oven, right? Yeah, I'm not worried about the smoke. Stangman, I don't think it's going to get that much. Stangman says no more oil. No more oil or no? He says no more oil. Okay. So just let it do its thing. This will take a good minute plus. But look how thick this is. This is yeah, crazy. that's what people are saying. That's a piece of steak. A small steak. Why is my chat empty? Well, it, I'm seeing chats continue here, so we got a signal. Okay. So we're good. But I mean, this is the beauty of doing this outside. So there's, listen, there's a couple ways you can cook a steak like this. You can sear it in a very hot uh, cast iron pan and then roast it in the oven. Like I said, the problem with that is that the sear mark tends to go too deep in the meat. What do I mean by that? You ever cut into a steak and the gray mark is very deep? That's what happens when you sear it and then roast it. But by roasting it in a lower oven, I'm talking 300 degrees, you slowly bring to temperature the steak so it cooks evenly from tip to tip. Then you sear it, and that gradient, that gray mark from the sear, does not go as deep. 
Okay, so we don't need any more of the oil. And why are you using avocado oil for this uh, steak session? Because it's the perfect, healthy, high heat cooking oil. Traditionally, people would use canola oil for this. We all know that's processed, refined. They use chemicals to extract the uh, oil from the plant. Avocado oil is the heart healthiest um, high heat cooking oil around. You wouldn't want to use something like an olive oil. Ghee, I mean, you could do ghee in this too, but at this high temperature, something like a neutral flavored uh, oil is perfect. Castrol GTX would probably survive That's a high right. temperature, but it would not be... Uh, Try some, some Castrol from Pep Boys. Yeah. Would be nice. It prevents viscosity and thermal breakdown. Flintstone references, references keep coming in here. And by the way, if you haven't done so yet, we have a bunch of new people watching. Please leave comments down below. We want to know where you're watching from. If you haven't wished Art a happy birthday yet, wish him a happy 41st. Oh, they've been doing it. Uh, we got the, um, Thank you all. the cauliflower and butternut squash puree with ghee already done. Desi's working on dessert. So we can go straight. Look at Rose. She's like, look at Rose Art. She's like, Daddy, what are you doing? What are you doing, Daddy? Hi. <laughs> uh, uh, Electro, you're going to get some of this, Rose. Electro, Garrigo, what about using olive oil? Olive oil has too low of a smoke point. Yeah. So hey. that's why we're using avocado. Rose, this is your dinner. I'm going to give Thank you some you of this, sweetie. Yeah, this is your dinner. <laughs> She's excited. She's like, yes, that's going to be in my belly. Hi, uh, Rose, honey. All right, let's take a look at the flipping of the steak here. All right, people want to watch Rose. How's it look? Oh, my. Yeah, look at this. Oh, careful. <laughs> that is close up, please. This is the definition of a crusty steak. Ah, uh, beautiful. And by the way, guys, say hello to Kara. If you haven't met her, she's, she's a Rose's new babysitter. She's fantastic. She lives here in Chicago. Rose loves her. Hi, <laughs> Hi Rose. <laughs> So I can't tell you how happy I am that we're doing this outside, Rose. Because if we were doing this inside, Rose, honey bunny, it'd be so smelly. And then your room tonight, when she went to bed, your room would be smelling like steak, which some people might not mind, to be honest. I wouldn't mind. But the problem is the fire alarm would be going off right now. Yeah, and the cleanup afterwards, the cleanup would be brutal. Oh, we got one sock McGee. The curious case of the missing sock. <laughs> this is the live stream now. Thank Playing with Rose. Thank, Thank you, you, HD. Look how big your hands are, Rose. But <laughs> Thank you, the hacking weasel. <laughs> love me regardless. We love you. We love you. She's so sweet. So June 7th is her birthday, you guys. Desi's working on her uh, paleo three-layered cake with custard. Um, and it's going to be a great day. Right, Rose? A little birthday party? A little beauty party for my gal? Huh? My gal? She's so close to taking her first steps. Okay, let's see what's going on here. You have to sear the sides? What do you think of it? Might as well, right? A little bit. Yeah, that's good. I mean, to be honest, this side's already kind of seared. Let's just do this for that one, one second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at that. Rose is so excited for this right now. Wow. Look at that. Thank you, you Hazel. What's that? I was just thanking Hazel for the birthday greetings. Okay, we're done. Look at that, you guys. Nice. Absolutely gorgeous. The heat is off on this. So good. Let's go back inside. You walk away, I will follow. That's right. Oh, Rose, honey. This is your dinner, my love. Ooh, so good. Now, we obviously have to top this with ghee. Hey, Des, you want to see a sight of beauty? Yeah. Dun, da, 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 da. Whoa, that's huge. Yeah, a lot of liquid in there, huh? Yeah, I'm not so much. Probably. That looks like a Fred Flintstone steak, says Finley. It is, homie. Now, we're out of this ghee, so I gotta open up a new one. But, I mean, you gotta dot this with some ghee on there. Oh, yeah. Now, the nice thing is these steaks will stay warm 
for easily half an hour. I mean, the other one here, look, it peaked at 134. It's still at 129, plenty warm. So don't be worried about uh, overcooking it. So I'm just gonna take some more ghee here and just put it on there. Slather it on. Look slather. at that there. Ghee runoff. Ghee runoff. Better than the Exxon Valdez. The ghee, ghee flood. And then we'll cover that with some aluminum, which I think I might have left outside. I'll be right back. What's the depth? It's a mystery where they'll love them. That's a mystery, right? Let's try these things. Are they, are they in the bedroom? They're probably on the ottoman, which would not constitute me hiding them. I may have left them there. <laughs> Don't even think about it, Maggie B. Yeah, we're are you, I'm just saying. I'm just saying by coincidence. I might know that they are sitting on the ottoman. I'm looking right now. Ah, yes, yes, yes. I just happen to know that. You don't need to know anything else. What were, what were they used for yesterday? Uh, I was carrying in some of the stuff we cooked for pictures. It was hot. Ah. Like the uh, I don't remember which. Oh, okay. yeah. I don't know. Something was hot. Something was, oh, maybe the plates from the we warming oven. Cooked, we only cooked yeah. things It was the plates from the warming oven. I was I keeping the... Know, I don't know what the food was. The shrimp cake? The shrimp cake. You know what it was? It was the enchilada. That's right, the enchilada. Ah, enchilada, All right, so apples are cooking here with some maple syrup and coconut oil. Mm. This is going to be... The base of the upside down cake, which eventually is going to end up on the top, right? Once we flip it. It's Once we flip it real good. So, um... But I think you have to drain that liquid after it's cooked. We'll have to see, you know, we don't want that liquid. Or do you reduce it? It's supposed to reduce. I mean, typically you make it with sugar. It's and maple syrup. What else in there? Coconut oil. Yeah, you can't put a batter on top of that. It's gonna ruin it, I think. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna drain some of it. I would raise the heat a little bit. You gotta really aggressively boil it. All right. It's like you're making caramel, kind of apple caramel. Mm. A little s. All right, we could technically cut into the first steak right now. Okay, go ahead. And build a plate. I just need to wait for these to reduce. Okay. Are you done with all these ingredients here? I'm done with this. Okay. Give her some steak. I will. H two O. They're asking where you got the steak from. So the steak is from a, a company of Flav City fans started called uh, Shepherd Meats. Um, they have California grass-fed beef and they have Tasmanian Australian beef. Okay. Thank you, Elizabeth V. Let's see what's going on here. So here's what I want to do. Remember, I have the uh, beautiful puree here that... Uh, oh, yeah. Give me a little bit of puree for us. Okay. Let me just mix it up. So that's what you want, a nice bubble on there. Bubble. Rebecca, did I what? Okay. What is the name of the farm in Georgia? White Oaks Pasture. That's where they get their... Uh, Thrive Market gets their... Uh, Pork from yes, exclusively. I, I it's the that. real deal. Ah, baby food. Yeah, baby food, but for everyone. All right, so check this out, Audio. We're going to put a swoosh down of this butternut squash and. Oh, it smells so good. Cauliflower pia. That's a pro swoosh. Mm. I'm not going to lie. That's not. Oh, wow, it's delicious. Delicious, right? Then Arthur T. Alma C. Yes, Rebecca, I downed that S beverage. We'll get our beautiful steak that rested. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, Final gosh, temperature oh, of. Yeah. So it's back down to 126. It got as high as 134. This should be absolutely gorgeous. Let's cut it right in the middle. You got to do that. Oh, yeah. Guys, that's perfection. Look at that. The sear mark did not go that deep in the steak. We'll cut it into slices. This is, I mean, Next to a sous vide, I think that's pretty darn epic. What do you think? I think so. Sarah Windmuller, Bobby, I'm making the beer battered fish tacos. Would rice flour work in place of the gluten free all purpose? Yes, flour? it will. It just probably won't get very dark necessarily unless you're using a stout. 
So we'll take the stick, we'll fan it out like this. Oh, look at that color. And guys, this is, this is be beautiful. Now we'll take a little bit of that really nice salt, season the inside. This is a Keto Paleo Delight. We'll take a little bit of extra virgin olive oil, drizzle right there. Why not? And then a little bit of greenery would be nice, but I'm not gonna bother. You guys, that is what Arthur T. Almasi eats for his birthday. Thank you, That Bobby. is perfection. Mmm. Good. And then your meat is gangbuster. So. Gangbuster. Mm. Yummy, Ben. That looks really good. Mmm. Wow. <laughs> Inner peas, cheese balls on the side. <laughs> now you're talking. Yeah, give her one from the center. Flavor profile. Make sure you give her some okay. really tender pieces. KF says, close your eyes, vegetarian people. Ha <laughs> ha, well I gotta chase it with the wine. Is this my wine or yours? That's wine? yours, mm. mine's over here. Okay. Thank Ooh. you, Kelly P. We gotta try a bite too. Okay, Art, the birthday boy, get in here, I'll hold the camera. It's almost too beautiful to eat, almost. <laughs> Is that one gonna be my plate or should I just take a clean? Oh! Uh, yeah, that'll be your designated plate. Okay, now. my designated plate? Yeah. You have to DP. I'm looking forward to this all day. This looks really, really, all week, really bro. good. All week, yeah. I mean, since the beginning of time. I mean, look at that. <laughs> I don't care if this is the Matrix or not the Matrix. <laughs> it's tender. It's juicy. Beef loves steak. Beef loves salt. Salt brings out the meatiness of this Is it over-salted? No. Not even close. No. What Delicious. sauce would Perfect. be good on it, says Mrs. W? I'm not a big sauce person yeah. when it comes to steak. Nothing. When you got a nice piece of steak like this, you don't need a sauce. Yeah. This is such a great stick. You don't really want to... Mess it up. Maybe some more drawn butter or ghee on there. That's it. Mm, I gotta try this now. Yeah, yeah, the puree. Two people are eating puree right now. This guy and this girl. Rose, we want to know, how is your puree? Huh? Mommy's bringing us a mistake over, but we want to know, how is your cauliflower and butternut squash puree with ghee? Do you love it? Or are you looking at Art and saying, where's my steak, Daddy? Huh? She wants steak. You want steak too, right? How's the puree? Puree is delicious. Right? Man. Great flavors. Lovely. All, all meddling, mingling there. Well That's said. Stuff. Well said. All right, why don't you stick this probe here into the uh, ribeye, and we can monitor the carryover heat for that. This will be interesting uh, to know. You want to go wherever you think is like, or? yeah, whatever you think. Or do you want to go like from here right into the center? Um, No, let's go here to the At center. An angle? Yeah. Okay. Now, actually, guys, for me, for my money, the cap of the ribeye right here has some of the most fat on the entire animal. I'm not a huge fan of the middle part, like the filet part, but the cap here is phenomenal. Now we put, look at this guy. Oh, wow. All the way to 138. One th I'm shocked. Wow. Oh my gosh. And we pulled this off the oven at 118. Let's make sure it's... Dang. Okay, let's go back to Desi. I'm not worried about being overcooked. Yeah. I'm just saying that when you have a nice piece of meat that's very dense, it's going to uh, carry over lovely. I just turned it off because it reduced really nicely. Yes, that's what you wanted, right? I would go even more, to be honest. It was bubbling really hard. That's so. what you want. Go hard or go home. I think it's done. The apples okay. are going to overcook. Sure, sure, sure. They're going to get ridiculously soft. Robin but says the bone radiate heats. I think Stangman was saying that too. I think Michael Scott says that's what she said. <laughs> All right, let me finish that uh, cake unless you guys yes. have something else to go No, 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 on. finish the cake. All right. Okay, next step. Arturo, you should stay next to me and eat. Okay. Yeah. While I, uh, That's Art's job. Oh, hold on. Rose has some steak. Rose, you gotta eat with everyone the gang. wants to know. Yeah, yeah. How is your beef steak? So, huh? There you go. I'll just take huh? some You're using all six of your everyone else is eating. That's the best beef. Mm. It's all the way from Tasmania, Australia. That's good. Daddy went to Australia last year and he can vouch. That's some good beef, Rose. Honey Punny. Yes. <laughs> we love you, Rose. We all love you. 
Okay, back here. All right, I have three egg yolks, maple syrup, coconut oil, uh, and vanilla in here. Now I'm adding a teaspoon of lemon juice. Okay. I'll, I'll put my mic close to Bessie. Ah, good idea. All right. The dry ingredients, almond flour. Wait, sorry for arrow. the setup. Wait a second, wait a second. Let's make sure you get all this. Sorry for See, the noise. Wet ingredients again. Are you going to do it to oh, our okay. microphone? Let's do it again. Wet ingredients are uh, three egg yolks, coconut oil, maple syrup, and vanilla extract, and a teaspoon of lemon juice. Okay. The dry ingredients, almond flour, arrowroot starch, and a pinch of salt, lemon zest, and let's add this here. Okay. Now the next step would be to mix this all together and then beat our egg whites which are on the side oh interesting yeah so it's like art mix, 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 interviewing mix, her during kitchen stadium iron chef style here this is how rose has a good meal she pushes her table how rose huh you keep pushing it look at you she would just uh, measurements measurements for the dry ingredients <laughs> yeah one and a three-quarter cup of almond flour <laughs> And a quarter cup of arrowroot starch, pinch of salt, hey. teaspoon of um, hey. Hey, me love. Uh, just lemon. Uh, so we have the lemon hey. zest in there, and then eventually I'm gonna add this yeah, uh, one teaspoon of baking <laughs> soda in a second. Hmm. All right. So sorry guys, I had to show Rose. She's too cute. This is all mixed in here. So. Why are we doing that? Why are we separating the egg yolks and the egg whites? The purpose for that is to make a very airy type of dough. So here are my egg whites, three of them. What kind of eggs are you using? Pasteurized. That's right. And then to that, I'm going to add just a little bit of um, cream of tartar to keep stiff peaks. Have you guys used that before? If you've ever made angel food cake, Shall you know go? you want to use uh, cream of tartar. Cream of tartar is very interesting. It's the leftover residue inside a wine barrel from uh, the winemaking process. Yeah. So now we're gonna beat the egg whites to stiff peaks. How, how are the apples doing, Art? Do you wanna check? They're bubbling away. How does that look, you guys? I think it's good. Yeah. Should we flip them or not? Or uh, them? I'll just leave them. I think they can go in a little more. Hey Rose, are you cleaning your kitchen now? Are you cleaning your kitchen, my love bugger? Huh? <laughs> She's getting very Thank good you, at uh, unloading the dishwasher. I'm teaching her to be my little assistant. All right, we're in the home stretch, you guys. Look at this. The ribeye steak has carried over to 140 degrees. That's a 22 degree carryover. I think that's that bone doing its work. It's the bone. Is this your wine or my wine? That's mine. Nah. I'll drink to that. Cheers, everyone. Happy Friday night. Just another American Friday night. Are the apples done there? Should we turn them off? They're pretty darn close, yeah. Right, so why don't you turn them, turn them off? Desi's caramelizing the uh, apples in organic maple syrup from Thrive Market because the Costco one doesn't have the uh, bourbon barrel aged one anymore. Where are you going, Rose? Huh? The Hoover. Uh, the... Yep, this looks good. Let me show. Hey, Rose. Love you. Hi. Let's see. Oh, wow, mommy. Nice. Cream of tartar really helped. Yeah, and it helps to get them to stiff peaks pretty quickly. Now, we ha what we have to do is fold the um, egg whites into our uh, dough here. So before I do that though, I'm gonna sprinkle a teaspoon of baking soda. Uh huh. And here. I'm gonna cover the steak in the meantime here. Ana Chavez, $14.99. Happy birthday, Art. Wishing you a super birthday. Love you guys and everything you guys oh, do to you, educate Anna. us all. My life changed for the better. Thanks to you guys. Rose is the star of the channel. Wow. We agree on that. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. And Alan Girl says you can use a tiny bit of lemon juice if you don't have cream of tartar. I was thinking about that. Oh, ah. yeah. it's acidic. Oh, smart. And uh, someone wants to know what's your sweetener in your cake? Only maple syrup. Is it in the base too, right? 
Yeah, it's in, it's it's in, in here. here. And it's back in the pan caramelizing yeah. the apples there. Cream of tartar is also known as tartaric acid. So that's what ah, I'm yes. thinking about the lemon juice. Yes. So thank you for the info, Alan Girl. All right. Thank you, Ana Chavez, now for the super chat. We're going to fold in Smart. the egg whites. So why do you have to do this folding as opposed to mixing? So we don't deflate our egg whites. You, we don't get a beautiful air out of there. Have you guys heard that Trader Joe's has cauliflower things what? like outer eyes? I got to check that. I have not heard that, Elizabeth. That sounds crazy to me. Nice. Donna from Freeport, Illinois. I keep checking in, you guys. If you haven't told us where you're watching from, please do. Uh, we have reached peak carryover heat, 140 on the ribeye. So I do want to cut that pretty soon, but I'll Freeport, do it as Freeport, as, Illinois. I'll do it as soon Freeport as, as uh, the cake goes into the oven. Yeah, we're very close to getting that in the oven. Do you cook at home a lot, Art? Uh, not a lot. Lately, I've been cooking a lot, but uh, yeah. Art knows a lot about food. Cook. He went to culinary school, too. I can cook. I enjoy baking. This looks good. Wow, the texture of this case is going to be bomb. So are you, Desi, going to pour that batter directly on the pan that has the caramelized onion, the apples there? Wow. Correct. So in case you missed it, Desi caramelized apples in maple syrup, which is a healthier version of doing like uh, brown sugar. Look at that. And all of that is going to be... Oh, babe, throw in those uh, chopped up walnuts there and mix it in. I'll have Art do that because I don't have enough hands for that. Okay. So this will be the base of the cake now. But once we flip it over, we're going to flip that, right, Art? We're going to flip it real good. We're going to flip it real good. It'll be the top of the cake, which uh, we don't know if it's going to work. Just sprinkle them on top, or are we mixing them in? Mix them in. Yes, okay. mixer scatterish. So the batter is going to go directly on top of there. It'll go in the oven, and then we'll flip it after it comes out, and we have no idea if it's going to work, and I don't even know if we're going to still be live by then. Put them underneath the apples or not? <laughs> no, I, li I like it like that. I like the way you move. That's a song, isn't it? It is, yeah. from uh, who. someone. Who sings I Like the Way You Move? I like the way The Flavor family is going to know the answer to that. And <laughs> I have confidence. No, they always know this. Outcast. Stuff. Thank you, Tara. Okay. That looks great. Yeah, I don't know if we'll be live when this comes out of the oven. Dusty, what does the baking soda do in the base of the cake rather than baking powder? Just because of keeping it paleo, you guys. You know, baking powder typically has or starch or cornstarch or something else in it. So in order to keep it paleo, uh, we uh, use uh, baking soda yep. and lemon juice. Oh, okay. here we go. It'll help okay. with the browning too. Okay, go time here. It will help with the browning. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. It makes the, the color a little darker. Ooh, look at that, y'all. Wow. This is, this is epic. We should get like a handheld mic, feel like a reporter. <laughs> wow, this is epic what's happening here, y'all. The batter, the paleo batter is going on top of the caramelized apples and walnuts, Bulgarian walnuts. I <laughs> needs to hide the oven mitts again. <laughs> I never did in the first place. That's debatable. Oh. <laughs> All right, you guys. I mean, I've never made this before, so... Very I think it's going to bake fine. The hard part will be flipping it over. That's going to be very nerve-wracking. I've never, I've never done that, so this will be a first. All right. You know All how right. long it's going to bake well, for? Well, we need 35 minutes in the oven, so. 35? Um, we're not going to work for that. Maybe we'll go live on Instagram. All right. Okay. We can show. Uh... All right. Who wants to put that in the oven? Uh, I'll just put you it You do it. All right. right. Or we can just stay live and do the dishes together while it's baking. All right. Like yesterday. Shaheen's in the house. Shaheen's in the house. Hey, Shaheen. All right, there we go. All right. 350 degrees. 350. Set a timer Let's to your left. Set a timer for 30 minutes. And we'll check it out soon. Brava. Thank you, Desi. How do you know when it's done? Do you have to do a toothpick test? Yes. Or? yes. Yeah. We'll do that. Okay. All right, time to eat, you guys. All right. Peace. Well, well, well I got to cut the ribeye. Hold your horses. Hold your horses. <laughs> And Desi made a mess, so I gotta clean her mess a little bit. So. Yeah, Rose, she wants more steak, she said. Yeah. She said, I want a ribeye, Daddy. Daddy, I want a ribeye steak. Hey, where's that uh, big tomahawk? It's resting. It's resting oh, like Rose. Oh, yeah. I gotta make some room Get here. Some close up action when he cuts into that one. Okay, let's see. So here, my friends, is the ribeye. 
let's grab that. So check it out. I'm just gonna cut it off the bone. Actually, the meat on the bone is some of the sweetest meat you can get. Like oh, that yeah. right oh, there. Yeah. This is, I call it meat candy, it's amazing. But for me, these pieces right here at the end are loaded with fat. They're so darn tasty. So when you cut it down, it's perfect. Wow, look at the color on this art. Even though it carried over to 140, Beautiful. it looks gorgeous. Look how juicy that thing is. This is insane in the membrane. Insane in the brain. Let's try a piece here. It's on camber. I'm gonna, let's cut this in half here. Or get whatever piece you want, but the end part. Wow. High five. <laughs> wow. I gotta give Rose some. Mm. That's good. That is dinosaurio. But if you go to a piece like on the bone here, oh my god! How is that different from the previous uh, cut? Art. Mm. It's delicious. I mean, ribeye is one of my favorite cuts of meat. It's strip and ribeye. Those are my two favorites. I can't make up my mind between them. Yeah, that, I'm happy either way. Oh yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the only difference, you guys, is uh, this is a ribeye. That's a strip stick. This no, is oh, you want? This one. He likes more well done pieces. Try that. I'll feed you, girl. So, oh my god, that's so good. Wow. That's good. I don't want to say well done on that steak. Great job on that <laughs> well steak. <said>. Well said. <laughs> that's good. All right, so once again, we'll just take a little more of this baby food here. You can't get this at a restaurant. No restaurant has this, and if they did, it'd be, this would probably cost 125 bucks. Part of it went on the... This part right here? Yeah. It's okay. That's gonna go in my mouth now. Okay. Then, we just take that beautiful ribeye here. We layer it on there. Right? Ashley's asking about the cake recipe. Is that... It's uh, a test. It's not ready yet. A little bit of salt in the middle. Then, all right, I'll give you the honors for drizzling with extra virgin. Oh, you do it, man. I, Me? Okay. You got the, the drizzling. A little drizzle here, Dusty. E-V-O-O. -O. That's it, you guys. This is steak done right. We didn't marinate it. We didn't fuss with it. We just seasoned it properly. We got the best steak possible, right? And that's how you roll. That's good stuff. I mean, look at it. I'm going to try a bite with this, with the mash. Mmm, uh, olive oil. Mm. Wow. That's insane. Try that piece, Art. Scoop that piece with your fork. Okay. Swoosh it into the puree. Okay. Insane. Totally insane. The meat is so juicy, flavorful, and the crust is a must. Mm. That's absolutely grand. Mm. Wow. Not much, that's not, good. Not, not, much, not much else you can say, right? I'm at a loss for words. Wow. So darn fantastic, you guys. This is how we roll. Rose will get some more food. She will stop crying very soon. Alan Girl, $41 for arts. Oh, Thank you, like, Alan Girl. Thank you for allowing us to invite you into the kitchen. I appreciate that. Uh, once again, we gotta thank the longest sponsor of the channel, Thrive Market, right below the video. Check out my promo link, get a $20 shopping credit, get that pasture-raised pork, get that ghee, get that collagen. Good to go. Dusty's gotta try a little bite. Well, I'm gonna try this one. Oh, get, get the hot... Uh, gotta go for it. Get the hot steak here from the ribeye. So guys, we'll be back next week. Uh, a new week. We'll do it all over again. Crushing life as normal. It's just a lovely dish. And the color. In living color, right, Art? In living color. Uh. Grand, right? I thought the strip was a little more tender. Um, yeah, I think strips can be a little more tender. So get in here, team. That's it, you guys. Rocking and rolling like we always do. Uh, Desi, Art, and I will see you next week. We got two videos going this weekend. Tomorrow we have the uh, breakfast haul from all the best prepared breakfast items from the grocery store. Sunday we have the protein drink 
review, all that good stuff. Uh, we're going to eat now. We're going to give Rose some more food. But Desi, the birthday boy art, and I will see you very soon. Thanks for hanging out with us. We leave you like we always do. Hashtag keep on cooking. Mad love and peace. <laughs> thank you guys for this feast. And thank you to all of you for all the birthday love. Appreciate it. Thank you for what you do. I approve